Matthew chapter 8 and verse 23. When you have it, say amen. Matthew 8, and starting from verse 23. And when he was entered into the ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea. Tempest in the sea. And, and so much that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. Amen. And his disciples came to him and, aw and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and, they, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Now, he had said, let us cross over to the other side. Amen. And once he said that, they were going to make it over to the other side. Yes, Amen. Nothing could stop it. Amen. Come on. It was gonna get, they were going to get over to the other side. Come on. Yeah. Joshua 6, 1 through 5. Joshua 6, 1 through 5. <clears throat> Amen. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given unto thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do seven days. And the seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city, city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye <coughs> hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Now, when, I believe that whenever they had started marching around the walls, that they had already won the battle. As Amen. long as they kept on marching around the walls, they were going to win the battle because God said Come on. that I have given unto, into thine hand Jericho. Yeah, that's good. Amen. Whenever they marched around the walls, as long as they did it the way God told them, they were going to win. Come on. On the seventh day, on the seventh day, they were. Let me read it again. And the seventh day, he shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long <coughs> blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Attack every man straight before him. Amen. God had said that they were going to win as long as they did this. Amen. As long as they marched around the walls. Seven times on the seventh day, once the other six days. Amen. And then there was, on the seventh day, there would be a long blast with the ram's horn. And they shall shout a great shout. And they did this for the seven days. Come on. Verse 9. And the armed men went before.
before the priests that blew with the trumpets, and the reward came after the ark, the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. <coughs> and Joshua had commanded the people, saying, Ye shall not shout, nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout. Then shall ye shout. Amen. After God had said that, that if they did this, they were going to win, nothing was going to stop it. As long as they did that, nothing was going to stop it. Amen. As I said, with the disciples and Jesus in the boat, nothing could stop Amen. the disciples. Not the waves, not Come any on. of the demons from hell. Come nothing on. could stop it. Amen. Nothing could stop them from making it to the other side. Yeah. God spoke it, and it was going to come to pass. Come on. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen.